Choose the equivalent fraction. Select the fraction that is equivalent to 3 eighths. Well, the way we do that, I think one fun way to do that is to basically just multiply. If there it's reduced, then we can basically unreduce by multiplying the top and the bottom by a couple of choices, right? So we can try two. Same as six over 16 if we multiply the top and the bottom. If we multiply by three, it's the same as nine over 24. If we multiply by four, it's the same as 12 over 32. And these systematically give us all our options. And, and once we sort of do a couple multiple choice, we'll get a sense of how far we have to go. But nine out of 24, right? So you do three, six, nine, 12, eight, 16, 24, 32. And so you basically commensurately expand the numerator and the denominator. So nine out of 24 feels good to me. All right, let's play this game again. Five, 10, 15, 20, six, 12, 18, 24. These are all the same. So what do we have here? We have 10 out of 12 right there staring us in the face. I have a feeling we only have to go out to three each time, but I bet Math Games is going to prove me wrong. 5, 10, 15, 8, 16, 24, 10 out of 16. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Three, six, nine, twelve. I can't think of a rhyme. You guys are better at me at, than me at that. Four out of six. Six out of seven, six, 12, 18, 14, 21. Just multiplying by one and two and three, the numerator and the denominator. So what do we see? Eight out of 21, do we see that? Oh, we see 18 out of 21, good. That's what we want, not eight out of 21. All right, 10, 15, 12, 18, 15 out of 18, look at that. Two, four, six, five, 10, 15. I have a feeling it's gonna be six out of 15 this time. It's always been the second one or the third one. It's the third one this time. By third, I mean, I mean, that's first, second, third. It doesn't have to be, though. It's just, that's the style that we're facing. All right, 10, 15, 16, 24. I feel like it's going to be the second one. And would you look at that? Seven out of eight, 14, 21, 16, 24. All these fractions are the same. It's like if you took a pie that had eight pieces and you got seven of them. Well, if you cut each piece in half and you took 14, you're not getting more pie. It's the same amount of pie. So 21 out of 24, yes. However, that, that pie trick actually works with children, apparently. Fairness, if they're really young and they're sad that their brother has like two pieces and they have one piece, you can cut their small piece into two pieces and they feel good about that. But that's because they don't understand fractions like you guys do. Six, 14, nine, 21. 6 out of 14. You know what? That's all she wrote about this, right? We get the idea. I'll see, see the next level, what it has to offer for us. But, ah, okay. Right, so this is where it gets harder. You just have to go up a little bit higher up the chain. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. If 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You could also like look at the choices, but all right. Do we have to go up higher? No, we got 12 out of 30. All right, so times 6 is 12, times 6 is 30, so 12 out of 30. All right, go have some pie. See you next time.